Hello, it's Jason Carlson, and I think I have a lock picking video for you. This is number one, first challenge lock pinned by AJ. He calls it Everest. I noticed that it's got one of the holes missing in top, or excuse me, one of the little grub screws, and you got to pull out on the key a tiny bit to get it to turn. But so far, so good, man. Let's see if we can't get into this and see what's what makes it tick. It is on a quick set keyway. And gives fairly good feedback. There it is. It is definitely open. And set that down out of the way. This here. And get ready to take a look inside this little first challenge lock. AJ, I greatly appreciate you uh, trusting me to uh, take a shot at your challenge locks, man. Uh, this is the first one and uh, that's probably the third time I've opened it, and tell you what, I think you have a bright future in making challenge locks. I can get the clip off. There we go. Shim. Shim in there. Ooh. There we go. I hope that's not the sign of things to come. Nope, wrong size. There we go. Okay, looks like... Well, it's not a good gutting. Not too good there, Jason. Not too good. Looks like I got the number two driver hung up. And number one is a spool. And number one, nice spring. Let's get number two out. Number two spring is wanting to be difficult, so I'm gonna reach in and give it a little help. It seems to be caught in the threading. Oh well. Moving on. Number three is not there. Number four, ooh, it shot up out of there. And it is another thin waisted spool. And then number five, ooh, that's a nice looking double spool. Awesome, dude. Put some work into that. Looks like... Make sure I've got all the springs. Spring in number two doesn't want to come out. All of them are threaded. But looks good to me. And then on to the core. All of them need to be picked. Number one is, I knew there was a, an overset trap in there, a little spool top. And another one, very cool. Three is not there. Four is a basic. And five, is, so is five is a standard also. Looks like one, two, three, and four were threaded. You did a great job on the threading. Nice and tight, nice and sharp, real good. Awesome. 
you uh, did a substantially better job at your first challenge lock than I did because I didn't thread anything and it was just a bunch of stuff shoved in there. All of my first challenge locks didn't contain any handmade threads, or excuse me, handmade pins. Yours, looking really good, man. It's almost like a little, that's cool. I'm not even sure what to call that. Almost a barbell, but not quite. Anyway, that's Everest by AJ. And uh, he won an honest interpretation of his ability to do a challenge lock. And I'll tell you what, he's off to a spectacular start. So, if you, uh, I noticed in the bag that the number three pin was in the bag. I'll put it back together that way if you want. And, uh, See if I can get that grub screw to go in there. If it doesn't, uh, just let me know what you want me to put it back together as, and we'll make it work. So, yeah, there's the top part that seems to be missing the grub screw. The spring and the other parts are in the bag. Um, AJ, you're on, man. You are rocking it. Now i got to dig into that second lock that you got sent to me and uh, see if I can't get that sucker open. Hey, everybody, have a great day. Remember to keep it real, keep it legal, and go through the lock.